lesson of PowerPoint, we're going to talk about how we can print a customizable sticky note using any size sticky note with any design that you so choose. The possibilities are endless. So grab a pack of sticky notes and let's get started. You'll see on my PDF here that I have a variety of different templates. I have a template for the standard size sticky notes. I have a template for a smaller size sticky note and I have a template for um, a combination, depending upon what I'm doing. We, we're going to start off by making our template so that all we have to do is duplicate and then create the slide that we want. I've used them for a variety of different reasons in the classroom. To name one, I've used them to create our attribute piece blocks and I've printed them purposefully on a blue, yellow, and red sticky notes such that they represent the large and the small triangle in blue and uh, move forward using them in my classroom. I've also used them to do a quick check on students. Here you'll notice that I use them as a QR code, as an exit ticket that students can scan. I've used them for a variety of different ways when I'm trying to collect data from the class anonymously. Think large. The possibilities are simply endless. So let's get started. I'm going to open up PowerPoint. I'm going to change my page setup to the 8.5 by 11 with straight up and down. Notice though, even though my paper is 8.5 by 11, it gives me my standard width and height of 7.5 by 10 because not all printers like to print exactly to the edge of the paper, so it gives you some leeway. However, when we do this, it will automatically scale when we print, and that uh, will be a little difficult when trying to line up your sticky note. So I recommend setting our page to 8.5 by 11, the standard sheet of paper. And we will be aware that we will create our own margins. I'm also going to change my layout to a blank layout. All right, so the first thing I need to do is create my template. You'll have to look at your sticky note and measure, if it doesn't say on the package, how large they are. The standard size sticky note is three by three. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing a box. I'm gonna make a square by clicking shift on my keyboard and dragging my mouse. Notice that it will be uh, the height and the width are growing at the same time. To be more precise, I'm going to bring these all right up to a three by three, leaving some space for my margin. Then I'm going to fill in my shape with nothing, and I'm gonna make my outline a solid black. Again, this is just our template, so when we print, I know where my sticky note needs to go. I'm gonna make three of these, so I'm gonna copy and paste, and it doesn't matter where they go. You can fit six large sticky notes or regular size sticky notes on a piece of paper. Um, the other two sizes that I have, I have another square that's a smaller size that is a two by two. So I'm again, I'm gonna hit shift and bring it down and I reached a two by two. Again, I'm going to fill it in and have a black background. It doesn't matter, I guess, what your background is. Um, copy and paste. Another size that I have is a one and a half by two. So to make it easier, I might go one and a half by two and fill it in and make a black background. Again, these are just our templates. So now that I have my template with whatever size sticky notes I have and how many ever I want on a page, I'm now going to duplicate by right clicking and duplicating my slide. So this will be my template that I can reuse over and over again. And the second slide is where I'm gonna create my design so that I can um, put my sticky note on top of it. All right, and then I know when I have my design area, I know how big I can go. So in here, let's just say I'm going to insert a border. So let's find a border from our files. There's one. I'm gonna zoom in a little here so I can get within my sticky note. 
be a little more accurate, if you will. All right, I see that it's in the middle. Maybe I'm gonna send, create a set of reminder notes for my students. I'm gonna enter a text box. I'm gonna enter the word reminder. That looks like a little too big, but I'm gonna center it and I'm going to reduce the size to, let's say, 12 and then put it in the middle. And then I want a set of check marks so that they do have these reminders. So I'm gonna insert a small box and let's make them two tenths, just a place the student could put a sticky if they wanted. I'm gonna fill it in with no fill and then a black background. You could even have the outline of this be a dashed line if you would or a colored line and I'm just gonna line up by copying and pasting these boxes all along the, the left hand side. Zoom in so I can grab the box. All right so they're kind of all the same but I can um, click on one while holding down shift Click on the other boxes so that these other, oops, other boxes are highlighted as well. And then I'm going to vertically align them so that they're evenly spaced uh, together. So notice that some of them did shift. And maybe if you're with younger kids, you might want to insert a sp specific line. Maybe you don't. So a line to write on. So if you hold down shift and create your line, it creates a nice straight line. This time I'm going to have maybe my weight be a little larger and maybe have a, a little dash. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste so that each one of them have a line. And now I'm set. But let's say now that I want all of my sticky notes to have this exact same design, but I don't want to recreate all of it. Well, what we can do then is I'm going to zoom out. I'm also going to get rid of my background, my, um, my outline box, because now it's set. I know exactly where it has to be. And when I print my template, I'm going to lay my sticky note on top, but I want to get rid of this outline in case I don't exactly get my sticky note exactly in the middle. That way I'm not getting this weird border around that I don't want. That doesn't make the, the design pretty. So I'm going to try and grab the, this back one. I'm going to delete it here and just move this back where it was. So what I can do then is hold my mouse and highlight all of my objects together and then I'm going to group them so that I can copy and then paste them right on top of the next one and get it centered. And then I'm going to grab my box here, oops wrong one again, I might have to zoom in a little. To get that box. There we go. Perfect. Zoom out and then paste another one. Bring it down into my other box. Zoom in so I can grab just this outline. There we go. And off we are. Now I'm going to create the same for each style, so maybe I want to put something different in these little boxes or this one, whatever it might be. Once I'm done creating them exactly as I want, now I'm ready to print.